Are you curious about what to eat or where to go in Taiwan? Welcome to part four of this interview series with my good friend Vera, who is a Taiwanese doctorate student studying in the United States. In part three of this series, Vera talked about her challenges studying in the U.S. I love making these videos and I want to make more, so please click like below to support the channel. All right, let's get back into the interview. So Vera, my last question is actually not, I guess about me or other foreigners living in Taiwan. Uh, what are your favorite foods here, and where do you suggest that I go? So for food, I would recommend um, dumplings and da chao mian xian, stinky tofu, and no thanks. <laughs> <laughs> and what else? I have so many favorite Taiwanese food. Mm, you guys should try beef noodles um, or. If you want fried sweet potatoes bowl, it's a really good dessert. Mm. Yeah. Do you like spicy hot pot or not spicy hot pot? I like both. We have we can do it both. And you have no preference. Yeah. You just love Taiwanese food. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and then, where would you recommend that I visit? In Taipei, you can go to Dansui, uh, Beito for my hometown for uh, what is called spring? Hot springs. Hot springs. Hot, yeah, Beito has like beautiful hot springs that are like natural, right? Yeah. Yeah. And you can go to Yangming Mountain, Elephant Mountain, and Jofen. What's uh, in Jofen? The buildings. They have Ghibli, the what's Oh, What's Spirited that? Away. Yeah. I've heard about that. Yeah. The building they imitate. I know what you're talking about. In, in Joe Fen, Studio Ghibli, um, the, the, the creator, Hayao Miyazaki, got inspiration for Spirited Away from the beautiful buildings and the colors of Joe Fen. That's right. Yeah. Thanks for illustration. Yeah. I've been, I went there about two years ago and I, I kind of can't wait to go back. It's my turn. <laughs> so, <laughs> what's your favorite part of Taiwan? Ooh. The MRT. Huh? Only MRT? Safe, cheap, affordable, Private? uh, public transportation. Reliable. Ugh. Because in America, I have to drive everywhere. Yeah. And that's, as you said, it's not convenient, so... And honestly, like this sounds a little cheesy, but the, the people here are so kind. Like me. All the time. Mm -hmm. um, and it's not just polite, it's genuine, genuine kindness. So I'm, I'm happy to be in Taiwan, definitely. Welcome to Taiwan. Thank you. How, however, however, it's hot. It's hot in the summertime. Too hot. It's yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, I say Taiwanese people are some of the strongest people because they're able to, to live through the summer here every year. Today was 97 Fahrenheit and it felt like 114, which is nearly 43 Celsius. It was almost 35, 36 degrees outside today and humid. You are stronger than me, Vera. No, I, I couldn't live here. I, I will leave soon. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thanks for doing the interview with me, Vera. I appreciate it. You're welcome. And and we we hope to see you again soon. Bye. Zaijian. <laughs> Did I pronounce that correctly? To pronounce what? Zaijian. Zaijian. Yeah. I was close. You're right. Oh. Zaijian. Thanks for learning with us here at the University English Hub. Support the channel by clicking like and also subscribe. And I'll see you in our next video.